Hello Simmers and welcome to my first tutorial where I'm going to show you how to edit a Sims 3 screenshot. This is focused especially for people that has just a mouse to edit like I do. Um, first want to apologize about my English because I'm still learning so you may be are going to hear some bad pronunciations or strange pronunciations so well let's start with the tutorial first um, I always work on a copy of the main part with Ctrl J we make a copy I never touch the original background always work on that first from that first layer uh, so first of all we're gonna work a little bit on the background um, in this step we are basically going to select with this tool all the horse and rider Control J and as you can see we have a copy just with the horse now for working on the background um, we first are going to get right of the horse in the exact background we're just going to select the horse with control selection modify expand in two pixels and go to edition and feel uh, I don't know how it is in English uh, we we'll let everything as uh, it is here and press OK Okay, as you can see uh, basically we have taken out the horse from the background. It looks weird there, but don't worry, we're not gonna see that part. Now, uh, I always make a copy because I'm paranoid and always think that, that there's gonna happen something bad and I have to make everything again. Um, click here, this button and it's gonna create us this layer um, we select that layer and with a brush this one okay, here. Um, with this brush um, we and the color black we're gonna paint all that uh, all of these that look like this, it's what is going to be blur. That always uh, how the, the horse or whichever that you are gonna edit on first plane there, so you can see how much you're gonna uh, blur. For example, here this part I didn't want it. So for that is easy. We just Select again the same brush, change it on to um, sorry, black. Uh, basically, we erase that part. Okay. Uh, now shift and click over it, and as you can see, it will turn again as it was. Select again this layer here. Don't have this one selected because if if you have it, it's not gonna work. And um, filter blur. Uh, this one. I'm gonna like that. Uh, make sure that you have everything like this. It's gonna be different the first part the first time that you use it so um, take your time and 
put it like this and we're just gonna touch on uh, that only this here don't put so much because if not it's not gonna look realistic and it's gonna look really strange I always use 10 or 11 or 12 no more than that um, let's gonna put it in 10 and okay see a small detail and everything looks perfect now on a new layer I like to add some sun effect with a little lighter uh, yellow uh, just like there, like that with the same brush that we had for the blur and now we're gonna use the Gaussian blur now this one yes put a lot because we don't want it to be concentrated uh, with Control T we select that layer and we're gonna expand it so it's gonna look better play with the opacity in this step is really important I'm gonna let mine like that I always make a folder to save everything that I already finished for example there we have the background and on a new folder um, I'm gonna add the horse and add a new layer now we first are going to start by the mane and tail um, this horse has black mane and tail so we're going to use those colors um, to change brushes for the ones that we are going to use here uh, select here and this button here and go down and select this one now we're gonna use this brush here the third one on size um for the tail we're gonna use 21 or 22 if you use it higher it's not gonna look so realistic um the black that we are gonna use is this one here not this one never this one always this one because it's gonna look better trust me and it, there's almost no difference between those two but the tail looks better with this one so um, we first make a basic like for example the tits is gonna be like hanging here moving it is very important and necessary don't worry about that this is just a, a base there So now we create a new layer. And now yes, on go to preferences, and here we are gonna use a, I don't know, fifty nine and stiffness. That in a new layer. Now, yes, we have to worry about details because this is going to be the final shape of our tail. So, start in there, like that. Whoops. Um, I'll tell you that always keep practicing because you're going to find better ways of doing this as I did on the past and um, it's always fun because that way you will find your own style of edit 
you know so get one like that it's good to have a reference too you can look for images on Google and there's nothing bad about it like that okay I basically would say that mine my basic shape is done I'm gonna combine the with the basic one uh, one thing that I forgot to tell you guys I don't know you but I hate this that left here so I select that part and always erase it because I hate how it looks. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Um, let's get rid of this. Now we're gonna add this part. Oh shit, sorry. Um, don't forget to save everything that you do. Now we're going to select this part that is supposed to be over the horse tail. So, select it like that. And here too, because I think the tail is falling behind this. Yeah. And now we just erase that. Um, we're going to invert the selection and parch this small thing here. Okay. Um, before things like this happen to you, make always sure to move the tail exactly where you want it to be and then choose it and erase. If not, you're gonna have to do everything again as it happened to me right now. everything there and that is the basic shape of our tail now we are gonna add the details for that we're gonna make a new layer press alt and when this thing this thing appears there we're gonna click so we're just going to draw over that tail with this gray from here we're going to make details now yes um go to brushes select a new one whatever and came back to this one so it has the preferences um from the beginning now we are gonna move it to size 21 as it was and the stiffness we're gonna move it to 80 something 84 is perfect save and we start adding details at the beginning or if you have already been some time working on it you have to go back and make it again and again and again because these kind of details always are difficult if you can do it at first great if not don't worry if you have to erase and do it again and again and again on this one we're gonna play with the opacity too like that 
see and something that I like to add to the tail and hair in general is highlight with, with this ray here we're gonna add those shine details like there oops sorry and then again Gaussian blur not so much because we want it to look like hair but like that and play with the opacity again well basically the tail is done um, you can if you want cut the point of the of the tail like this right there done now you're gonna lock that layer and leave it like that we are gonna add now a new folder oops sorry uh, let's combine all of these for not having problems in the future and add it layer there now we add a new layer and we are going to make the main. Okay. Um, start is the same process of the tail, but don't use 21 because it's not going to look so well. Uh, use 14, 13, or low numbers. No lower than 14 because it's not going to look well either but with a big size it's not going to look well so just try again we are going to make a base like this same thing that we did for tail now some shine here and we are basically done I'm gonna combine these two and uh, um, you can follow the same the same thing for this that we did for the forelock for this part here um
just show you how to pretend that the hair falls to the other side. fill that with the black that it's not black but it's black um the same that we do for the others now we are gonna add details okay this higher one uh, remember that um we are gonna add the details as if the hair was um, falling so So now that we have this, um, we are going to do the reins, so um, we are going to find out this one and we are going to make a new folder and a new layer. and using the brush we're going now to select the basic the basic ones and size 4 we need color from the middle and with this tool here we're gonna make this here. Now, with the second click, in this option here make sure that it says the brush and okay uh, make selection okay and control D I'm not gonna select anything now let's erase the parts that shouldn't be there like this and here because that way it looks like if the rider were holding the reins okay um for details i make a new layer select the reins and with a soft brush like this for example maybe a blue one and white in this case um, let's do this here now let's use the Gaussian Fleur Gaussian Fleur and let's do uh, not much but and let's play with the opacity and there you have it. Now, that we're going to make a copy of this and I'm going to move the layer behind the first layer. And 
gonna move it to get there. Like that. Now um with this I was like to make it a little bit darker so it gives you the idea that it's behind the horse. So basically we have the reins done. Uh, one thing that I see most people use with horses and that I use with this horse too is um um martingale. So I'm gonna make it. We are gonna use color from the tag like this in nine. It's okay because we're gonna change the size later. And with the eraser on a small size, we're gonna erase that. Um, let's go add some details with this tool here, this one, and other uh, size here. Now let's move it. Um, put it like this here. That. Make sure that it looks like it's over the reins and select the reins and erase just this this part here. And well, that part is basically done. Now let's gonna do let's gonna do basically the same that we did for reins. Choose color. Brush size, use three or two for this one. Maybe two is the best size. And again, select here, here, so uh, now that you see it, it looks so thin so if you want to make it um looks less thin just um make a copy until you like what you see um i just did one copy and uh, let's combine those now the same that we did for the rains we're gonna add some shine Brush there. Don't forget to play with the opacity and especially in this part because it's gonna really make the difference. Now let's combine this. Um, make another copy and this one we're gonna move it to get to the other ray so oops. now yes Here, just a little bit, not too much. Um, let's put it again with these rings. Here. Okay. Mm, let's do it a little more darker. And 
basically we are done with the raids. Now the final touch is the um, stirrup leather. Um, in this case, I'm gonna write this small piece here because I don't like how it's gonna look. So with this tool here, just place out and fill all that part and see it's gone. If you wanna fix a little bit you can use this tool. And now yes, let's go for the, the letter. Using again a color from the saddle. And um, a bigger brush than for the rings, for example five. We follow the same Thing that we did for the reins here again the same don't forget if this appears just give it okay um, don't worry um, it's here and now here when I raise the parts that are supposed to be behind the leg now for a little bit of detail we're gonna use these tools here um, to have this one have some shine but not so much and make some shades with this one And we are done. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you all. And I'm gonna make a second part where I'm gonna teach you how to add more details to the horse. So um, I'm gonna upload upload it soon. Um, if you have, if you didn't understand something, please uh, write it in the comments, and I'll try to help you. Um, thanks for watching.